Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel and welcome to your February 2024 weekly tarot reading. This is your general and love energies around you. I can't believe we're already in February. And I'm going to take a look at the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way. And I'll get a quick message for you and each zodiac sign, Aries, Luke, Pisces, and a bonus at the end. Yes, no questions. So get your questions ready. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, please. You know, it helps my channel grow. And let's go. Let's see your energy for the week. We did just go through that full moon. Hopefully it was okay for you. All right. We've got the chariot card showing up for you. So there you go. All right. You got the power. All right. The power is within you. You know which way you want to go. The wheel card. All right. So there is a turning point in your life this week. It seems like destiny is taking you down a different path. Um, your spirit is taking you down a different path. You may be feeling more clear. Um, you know, sometimes you can be attached to things that you may need to let go of. Uh, you know, maybe you were focused in other areas before, and maybe you're still kind of holding on to areas that you were focused on, um, and you're still kind of hanging on there, but you know it's not really going in the path that you want to go. All right, so this week it could be about you being real with yourself and saying, eh, I don't know if I want to do these things because, you know, in this – in this deck, you see that she's got some strings there with with all those horses in the back, which is, you know, giving me a little bit of a message, especially with the wheel card underneath, that your turn, the wheel's turning for you. You're going, your path is leading you down a new path. Uh, Destiny's turning, uh, leading you down a new path, right? But maybe you had a bunch of other things that you were doing or, or people or friends or romances or whatever, and um, you're still kind of hanging on there because for whatever reason, but your, your spirit, your heart, your being, your powerhouse is being called in a new direction. And can you take all these, all these horses with you? All right. Maybe, but maybe this is a decision week where who's really destined to be on my path and which way do I really need to go this week? Um, you know, who's going with me? What's the new direction? All right. So it could be just about, you know, getting getting uh, rid of some of those stragglers, I guess. Right. And really refocusing with that chariot card is all about focusing and um, and having a purpose, a direction and knowing which way you're going. All right, so I have the hermit card. So this could be a week of you self-reflecting, kind of going within a little bit and, and really deciding. You got the ace of inspiration, opportunity this week. All right, so this is asking you to kind of go within and make a decision about the path you've been on and uh, this new turning point that's coming in for you. All right, so it's, it's new. It seems like a new energy. The hermit card is saying give yourself a little space, solitude, reflect. The Ace of Wands is here. This is a creative new energy coming in. Give yourself a moment this week to really decide, you know, what creative project, what, what inspires you, what do you want to do, all right, and then follow that lead this week. So you could really feel inspired this week to do something new. You could be inspired to talk to somebody new. Uh, you could be inspired to reconnect with somebody that or, or reignite something in your uh, passion in your life with the Ace of Wands. All right, but it is gonna. It is asking you though to go within and follow where your spirit's really taking you this week, and where are you still holding on to connections that you know really, really aren't really aren't cutting it for you anymore. That that journey's over. The hermit card. That that road's over. The road's turning. I have the Muse of Wands, all right? So that's the King of Wands energy. So the Hermit card for me and the Ace of Inspiration and the, with the King of Wands there is showing you kind of going within this week and really taking a look at your end game, what truly inspires you, what's your vision, where do you see yourself, and bringing that piece back to now and then stepping into it, all right? So you're being called in a new direction, and the, the muse of inspiration to me is, is um, visualizing, all right, visualizing your future. Uh, so things are changing. So the Ace of Wands is the beginning step. You have the ideas. You have the creativity. You have the knowing, but you've, you, it's a, for me, it might be about whatever journey you've just been on, whatever you've been working on, whatever path you've been on. You know, maybe it is about, you know, you know, it was fun while it lasted. And now it's time to now it's time for me to really refocus and redirect and bring into uh, my manifestation, bring into what it is I really want to manifest into my life. 
All right, so this week is going to be some self-reflection. What Spirit wants you to know, I got the Justice card here. All right, um, there's a balance here needed in your life. All right, this is about stepping up into your truth and being honest with yourself this week. Being honest when it comes to your love commitments, being honest when it comes to your business transactions, when it comes to your finances, when it comes to what makes you feel really good. Um, the justice card is closing of soul contracts, closing of contracts in general, um, maybe legal contracts, maybe um, commitments, maybe um, something that you've been working on that's just not bringing, the, bringing it to, it's not, hasn't been, has brought you to where you thought you would go. This is about closing contracts this week and bringing a balance into your life and sort of doing a reset. It's karma. You know, it's like you've already learned everything you needed to learn. And this is a week of really resetting and, and, and finding what inspires you this week to move forward. All right. So let's take a look at um, the current person on your mind when it comes to love. Current person on Gemini's mind when it comes to love. Person when it comes to love. All right, we got seven of wands. All right, boundaries here, guarded a little bit. You know, maybe this person is feeling a little bit um, closed off, right? Or feels like they want to say something to you. All right, they could be blocked. Right, you get the hermit card. Your person could feel at a distance from you. So maybe you and your person are mirroring each other. You're both kind of showing the hermit card. You both could be, uh, there could be a block between you and somebody on your mind. All right. Um, and you have the ace of wands. So it's showing maybe you're being, feeling inspired this week to reach out to your person. It could be a Virgo. Um, it seems as though you both are in the same energy of doing some self-reflection. seems like you're both kind of on your own, in your own world, Um needing space and kind of closing off a little bit. All right. But, you know, maybe there is a closing of a chapter with you and somebody else, but that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be for every one of you because that Ace of Wands is showing you taking a moment, taking this time. The Seven of Wands is, you know, defending yourself, guarding yourself and your person kind of putting a wall up because they need to reflect on what they want for their next journey. All right, the challenge is, I mean, the obstacle and the, also the opportunity with this person could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, is refocusing. They're trying to reinfocus. They're trying to think about what they want for their future, right? So setting their intentions. All right, it does show good news with this person, though. It does show that they're really trying to self-reflect and focus on what they want for their future. All right, um, it's honest communication. It's 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 clear communication coming in. Maybe they feel like they need space or you guys need space apart so that you guys can decide where this relationship is going and does the future bring anything with this relationship how they view you the four of pentacles all right so they may see they they're also viewing you as maybe holding on to a way of wanting things you want things done a certain way you um might be focused a lot on finances and not having enough or not feeling like you have enough or you could be you know just guarded yourself right so you guys are really mirroring you're mirroring the person that's on your mind they feel like you know they haven't let go of you the four pentacles shows somebody who has not let go of you you guys have not let go of each other right but it also can show an energy of stubbornness or disinterested maybe this person feels as though you're not as interested in them anymore or you have to have things your way or things aren't going your way it's 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 your way or the highway right? Because they're viewing you like that. All right. So there could, space could be bringing clarity and a new direction with you guys with that Knight of Swords. All right. I do see the devil card here. So there is an energy of triggering or attachment between the two of you. There could be worry. There could be fear. This could be this person really dealing with their own. They, your, your person could be going through their own little 
you know, shadow session, right? Dealing with their own shit, right? And, but the thing is, is that the strong attachment between the two of you, and maybe there was a karmic because the justice and the devil card, this could have been a karmic relationship and you guys had to learn a lot from each other. And this space between you guys is helping you close that contract or close that cycle. Um, is there a potential for you guys to look at the chariot card? All right, so the chariot card could be showing you and this person moving on, all right, from one another. It might be a week where um, your hearts, so this is going to be different when I have the Wheel of Fortune uh, for you. This is going to be different for each and every one of you, and it's a general reading. So the Wheel of Fortune can show that if you don't let go, all right, you could go through another karmic cycle with this person. And it does not mean that this can be, this could not turn into something amazing, but we have to learn the lessons as we're going through. And that's that ace of wands. You could end up reigniting this connection and, and looking at a new future together. Right. But that devil card, if this person's dealing with some sort of addiction or 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 fears or or there's some sort of uh, toxic behavior there, um, there's an energy here of releasing one another and moving on and closing that chapter as well, too. You could be turning down a new lane, a new road, and you could be destined to meet somebody else. It could be an Aries Leo Sag. All right. So this is a 50 50 type of reading. You have free will. Um, of course. And so, but it is showing a very karmic -y situation and that chapter needs to close. And it was an 11, 11 when I said that could be with cancer, a Capricorn, a Virgo, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Let's see new person potential. So we do see a potential of a new passion, uh, ignited for you this week. And I do have the King of Wands. So there could be a fire sign coming into your life this week. Um, that could be you deciding to close some chapter and maybe you're letting new love in. So let's see new person potential that could be coming your way. Ace of Pentacles. You got a wise investment here, a doorway to the Ten of Pentacles here, a fresh start coming in for you. Queen of Wands, right? So now you got the King and Queen of Wands. We are looking at a potential commitment, divine love with the Justice card. All right. So this could be what, you know, what fate has in store for you, what the universe, what you've been waiting for, what you've been manifesting. So this week is really going to be about self-reflection for you, about maybe releasing karmic partners or karmic situations, releasing relationships that you know you've already learned everything you needed to learn. There's a potential fire sign coming towards you this week. Look at the King of Wands is showing up again. All right. So I am seeing potential to build a future with this person. And they view you the Ace of Cups. So how, I mean, I don't need anything else. You've got the, you got a long journey ahead of you. You've got a potential new relationship coming towards you with the Justice card, the Libra. And it could be Libra. Um, you have the King and Queen of Wands showing up, and you have the Ace of Cups, a fresh start, new beginning, new love coming in, some messages coming in maybe this week. Uh, remember, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands shows an energy, shows potential. You've got to take the inspired action with that King of Wands. You have to take that action this week to, to go to where you're being called to go. You have the Chariot card, which says let go of attachments and see where your spirit is pulling you. See where... Um, where, you know, stand in your power, stand, stand in your present moment and see where you're being called to go. You could be being called to go somewhere where you meet somebody this week. Strong fire energy and strong potential of new love. You have three aces showing up, ace of cups, ace of pentacles, and you have ace of wands. And I do see the empress card and I see the two of cups here. All right. So it's shown potential relationship, um, you know, a fresh start, brand new relationship. Uh, with that empress could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well too, but somebody's very grounded and very earthy and very successful. All right. So with that being said, Gemini's, let's see Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces for you. All right, so let's see the potential. Mm -hmm. 
Aries. So there's a lot of challenges between you and Aries. Children may be a concern in this relationship or somebody acting childish. Um, but it's showing that you guys can overcome these challenges. Taurus, is a, a new spiritual journey is about to begin with a Taurus for you. A reconciliation is on the horizon. We have Gemini. You both honor each other and your relationship is becoming stronger. There's definitely intense chemistry in this connection. Cancer, yin and yang, all right? You both uh, have an aspect of each other's character within yourself. But refusing to let go right now is pointless. What is yours will return. Leo, all right, avoid the trap of uh, mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection when it comes to a Leo. Uh, you both definitely share similar spiritual experiences, but it does not necessarily mean that they're your, your, your one. Uh, Virgo, all right, a special moment with a Virgo this week. Your relationship is being divinely guided, so there could be a Virgo on your horizon. Libra, strong attraction this week. Get ready to meet your soul counterpart um, um, with a Libra. All right. It transcends so, uh, superficiality. But don't compare yourself or let your insecurities get the best of you because they feel it diminishes your beauty. Scorpio, remarkable. Notice everything remarkable remarkable about this relationship gemini with a scorpio all right it seems like you guys have a great relationship stagnancy may be affecting the situation right now but it seems like an obstacle that you can get over sagittarius all right you have their heart they are working on healing their wounds capricorn you guys need to learn how to love each other again or learn from each other they feel very protective over you Aquarius uh, has a lot of deep feelings for you, um, but if they wanted to be with you, it would be so. Pisces is recognizing the signs uh, with this relationship, but concerns about money are affecting your love life. All right, so let's do my yes, no. All right, so think about your question. Remember, this is just a bonus. Don't let this trigger you. If it says no, it might be just that it's not going to unfold this week, um, but that does not mean it's not possible. All right, so. Let's see. Thank you. Your question. Yes or no. I've got the card of summer, so I'm getting a yes, but it can happen within three to six months. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Take care.